Some of the vows that are going viral on TikTok right now are disturbing. I promise to smack ass every chance I get. <coughs> Keep my belly full and my, my balls empty. And my balls empty. Today we're going to react to some of those videos. Come along for the journey. A videographer posted these vows a few months ago on TikTok and they went absolutely viral and we're about to see why. He started with this though. When the groom said this earlier in the wedding day. Anything you want to say to your future bride? I hope we have a lot of sex. A lot. He sounds like a 13 year old whose wish to be 30 was granted overnight. I'm about to have a lot of sex. We're gonna watch his full vows that the videographer posted. I was and always will be one of the easiest people to please. Only two things are required to keep me happy. Keep my belly full and my balls empty. Why does he sound like he's doing popcorn reading in like fourth grade? <laughs> <laughs> like the way he's talking. Yeah, he does sound like he's reading Old Yeller or something. <laughs> well, you're amazing at half of it. We really need to get you some cooking lessons. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Because we're having lots of intercourse. It's so bad already. And you think it can't get worse. She's already so embarrassed. Well, there is no one I could ever love more in this lifetime unless I actually get a chance to meet Margot Robbie. You won't. <laughs> Don't worry, that's not gonna happen. No one deserves it more. With you and the girls by my side, I feel like I can conquer anything. It sounds like your parents made you write an apology to your sibling and you're reading it out loud to them. Oh. I'm sorry that I stole your squishmallow and farted on it and planted it back in your bed and waited to see your reaction. Life gets even better when the kids fall asleep and you tell me to come to the bedroom. <laughs> Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. Michael. Huh? You need a little bit more space between mentioning your kids and then the sex part. Yeah. Let it breathe. Michael. I don't know if that's his mom being the officiant, but that man's in trouble. <laughs> Imagine getting grounded on your wedding day. Everyone keeps telling me that marriage is going to ruin a lot of things, but I feel that's only if you let it. Also, my boys tell me that marrying you is going to ruin my life. I hope her friends are telling her that because they would be right. P.S. Since you're so good at making decisions like marrying me, you can choose whether tonight's going to end with being a toaster, strudel, or a Twinkie. <laughs> I really hope she chooses annulment. Adele said it best. Divorce, divorce babes, divorce. They're definitely the couple that's like, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying so hard. Nothing's better than the sound of gagging and headboard slamming. I need everybody in this room right now to know we have lots and lots of coitus, lots and lots of sexual intercourse. We're probably gonna have sex tonight, by the e even. Tonight we might even bone. Somebody commented a divorce lawyer's dream. <laughs> this is evidence. And you know what? Before the advent of wedding videography, grooms would just humiliate their brides like off camera. And now we have like drone shots of, <laughs> of grooms being misogynistic on their wedding day with like music. <laughs> oh, are you going to be a Twinkie or a freaking Pop-Tart today, babe? <laughs> These are more recent wedding vows from a different couple that have been going viral on TikTok and Instagram. We're gonna start with her vows because I think that's the way to go with this one. From the moment we met in high school, we have had a special bond that was indescribable. Since then, you have distracted me, captivated me, and challenged me in a way no one ever has. But when I say I wouldn't be more proud in the man, dad, and partner you are today, I mean it and I have fallen in love with you over and over again. Okay, so those were nice, normal vows that you would expect. Let's watch his vows. I'd hate to have to follow that. Anywho, Cody. I'll promise to smack that ass every chance I get. <laughs> <coughs> That's wow. all I got. <laughs> Ew. Okay. When they say short and sweet, I don't think they mean that. Do you think her vows like factory reset his brain and he forgot literally everything about their relationship? Cody, please proceed. She's the brains of the operation, so. Okay. <laughs> Cody, it's on the wrong hand. Yeah, so that's the yeah. right. <laughs> yeah, so let's try that again. Did she marry like a German shepherd that wished to turn into a human? The way he did the turn, turn boy. <laughs> yeah. He's been like trained to speak with the dog training buttons <laughs> and he's slap that ass. Love you, love you. 
He hasn't learned that one yet. You know it's bad when the officiant, maybe it's just his buddy, is like, please say something else. May maybe say something. <laughs> maybe, maybe say words. You say words now. I love that. I love you. <laughs> Promise to frustrate you all the time. Promise to frustrate you all the time. Good. <laughs> oh, the fact that everybody in his life right now is forcing him to tell his bride that he loves her. When you have to say your vows through your teeth, I, fr I love you. He's only making vows, promises that he can keep. I love that about him. Yeah. He's honest. Honest king. If you throw a bone, I will chase it. If you throw a stick, I will chase it. If you leave your dirty underwear on the ground, I will swallow them whole. And in some of the videos, you can hear one of his like groomsmen or somebody in the audience saying, Come on, Cody. Yeah, like, is that it? Yeah. Come on, Cody. Are you sure? Come on, come Cody. on Cody. Come on. Come Whoa. on, Cody. Cody, come. Oh. <laughs> come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Come on. I didn't write nothing down. That's what you're going out with? That's what I'm going right. with. Cool. We've made it this long. It feels like an impractical Joker's. Prank. If it's almost like a, a litmus test for your friends. If you didn't object, you're not a good friend. Ooh. Object. The kicker is, his ex is speaking at his wedding. Things I'm Cody's ex from high school. <laughs> yes, you may think that's weird, but it's probably more helpful than weird. All right. Because I can totally relate to whatever crazy stuff he puts KK through. All right. Here's a new video. You have two options. Share a cute moment with my wife, a tradition that everybody loves, or finish her. I hit my wife so hard, I didn't even have to take her to get a post-marriage lobotomy. He's like trying to get, get ahead of the thoughts, the post-marriage thoughts. <laughs> now Ooh. she doesn't have to take quaaludes. It was kind of like an Assassin's Creed takedown, <laughs> right? He was like just pressing Y. Here's another wedding cake smash that went viral on TikTok. This is how you know that he is not involved in the wedding planning because he does not know how much the wedding cake costs. Also, besides her being disrespected and like feeling scared for her that she was possibly injured, there's also a selfish part of me that would be like, damn, so we're not getting cake? <laughs> I, with my fork, I'm like, damn, fuck. She posted multiple angles. Dang, there are so many doors and he opened the wrong one. <laughs> Maybe we need to replace the bride in this instance with like one of your homies. Yeah, we need like a stunt double for the cake smash. Cause for some reason it's like, no for nothing. Like maybe they all have like red 40 in their bite of cake and it just like. <laughs> this next one is a video of a bride and a groom walking down the aisle after getting married and the groom will not stop looking at his phone. I want to know what game he's playing on his phone because it's probably really good. It's like Candy Crush. Babe, I have a candy crush on you. That's why I was playing it. I'm making us woohoo in Sims right now. I'm practicing. That's f I'm practicing for tonight. I'm practicing for our honeymoon on Sims. My Sims are doing a dress rehearsal for tonight. Jimmy. Ah. I just want to know What's up? Why are we ruining our own weddings? Riddle me that. Is it too embarrassing to be emotionally vulnerable? I don't know why they feel so comfortable being caught acting like this in multiple angles. Like it just doesn't even make sense. Degrading my wife in 4K. You know what guys, we're starting a movement. We're bringing back objections during weddings. I object. Thanks for watching. I appreciate let us know in the comments if you would object.